listen to that sizzle we're making some ciroc chicken wings today stay tuned All right, so let's get right into it. I have about two and a half pounds of um, party wings. I have about a quarter of each of um, the sweet peppers cut up, the red, the green, the gold. I have um, onion, you can use yellow onion, sweet onion. I have cayenne pepper, paprika, um, badia, all purpose. I also have the chicken seasoning, a little corn starch I'm gonna add to my flour. I have onion powder and garlic powder. And right there, I miss the um, coconut oil. And there is the Ciroc salt and pepper, lemon juice, and a little um, sweet chili sauce. About a cup of the sweet chili, and probably about um, well, anywhere from a half a cup to a cup of pineapple juice. Depends on how saucy you want it. All right. So I am going to add my um, cornstarch. You can probably about use half a teaspoon, um, or probably about a teaspoon of. Um, the cornstarch to a cup of flour um, if you want it a little extra crispy. So that's what that's gonna do. I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper to the flour. Don't want it too salty. This will just keep everything, you know, the flavors will be nice and moderate. Add a little pepper. Uh, and these salt and pepper grinders are so cute. As soon as you raise them up, they, um, well, actually, when you flip them upside down is when they start grinding. The insides are also adjustable. You can actually pick this up on my Amazon storefront. I'll have the link um, down in my description box. So make sure you go ahead and grab a set of those. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of seasoning, probably about a teaspoon of the same chicken seasoning to the flour. And I don't like to over season it. Um, you know, so many different ways you can make this. But these wings, I realize they'll absorb the seasoning. So just to keep it nice and moderate and flavorful at the same time. All right, so I just add just a little bit. And you can use this in moderation. This is just a guide for you. And everything will be listed in the description box for you. All right, and I'm gonna put basically the same seasoning on the chicken. That's probably about a, not even a, probably about a tablespoon of the um, chicken seasoning. Um, putting probably about a teaspoon of this um, all-purpose seasoning. I have um, smoked paprika and then I'm adding a cayenne pepper. Um, just, you know, just sprinkle. And I'm also using about a teaspoon of the um, garlic powder and probably about another teaspoon of the onion powder. That's also um, right here, coconut oil. I'm supposed to add the oil first, but it's fine. You can add it. Um, you can use any oil, olive oil, vegetable oil. Just help the the flour to stick a little better to the chicken, okay? All right, and I'm gonna add just a little of the salt and pepper to the um, the chicken before I rub it all the way in, okay? Just um, don't need to do much massaging and all that because it's, like I said, it's chicken wings and it's going to um, um, absorb the seasoning pretty fast, all right? All right, and I, as you see, I keep one hand in the meat and then I have the other hand, which I can, you know, use to do whatever else I need to do it because you don't want meat all over everything else in the kitchen. All right, and if you do have to, I usually just wash these gloves off. These gloves are so um, strong and durable. They're from Golden Protective Services. You can also grab them off my Amazon storefront. All right, so I already pour the flour over the chicken, just basically dusting it or you can press it down. It's like I said, it's gonna stick to it anyways because I added the oil and a little, little, a little bit of excessive water was in the um, container, so that's fine. All right, so I'm just gonna add it to this um, wire rack um, so I can dust off the excessive flour, um, and then I'm just gonna fry it probably about to seven minutes on each side because I'm not going to be using my deep fryer, so it's gonna take a little longer to fry in the frying pan, but um, you can use your deep fry if that's what you have on hand. I was just, you know, making the video, so I was like, okay, let me just use my frying pan, okay? All right, so we have that wrapped up. 
and just go ahead and remove these gloves. And then I'm gonna, my oil is already heating up over there, probably on medium. Um, there's my rice and peas. I have a video for that if you scroll down on my channel. And um, yeah, it goes great with these wings. Or if you don't wanna eat rice with your wings, make some fries or just grab some celery and some you know, carrots and blue cheese or ranch, whatever you wanna enjoy with it, okay? All right, so like I said, I'm just dropping them in a, a few at a time just to make sure they have enough space to fry. And um, that's basically it. I'm gonna make my sauce next and then I'm gonna toss them in the sauce. But like I said, just make sure you fry them for about seven, to, about seven minutes on each side if you're frying them this way. All right, you can see they're getting nice and golden brown on the other side, so it's about time to flip them. It's probably been about seven minutes. Just make sure everything is nicely fried on both sides, and then we're gonna move into the next step, all right? All right, so the other side has been completed, so I'm just gonna remove these. I don't, um, I'm not putting them on a wire rack or even on a paper towel. I'm gonna um, put them back in the, um, the frying pan with the sauce, so it's fine. You don't have to worry about that, okay? All right, and I always save the best for last because the flats are my favorites. <laughs> so that's what I'm frying. <laughs> Right last, so flats going in, because um, if not, I'll be tempted to, to eat them before everything else is ready. Just doing the same thing with this, just, you know, frying them on both sides, um, just to make, you know, ensure it's well done. And um, like I said, they'll be a little crispy because of the cornstarch, but like I said, if you don't want to add the cornstarch, you don't have to, because it's optional. So the same frying pan that I um, fried them in, just gonna, I just remove some of the oil, just a little oil I, you know, held back to, to, to toss the vegetables around. See, I have this tricolor peppers, I have a little scotch bonnet, I have my onion. You can add any amount of seasoning to this if you want to, if you wanna add the whole sweet pepper, just double the recipe, okay? Um, I'm just tossing this around. I'm going to add the Ciroc. Be aware, I just had to stick this in there so you could see it. It's very flammable, as you can see. There it is, <laughs> almost got my phone. All right, so back to the original view. There it is, still flaming a little. And then I'm gonna add the pineapple juice, which probably, like I said, probably about a, anywhere from half a cup to a cup. And I'm gonna do the same with the sweet chili sauce. Just mix it around a little. Just, you know, just toss it. Um, I usually hold back some of the wings because, you know, the kids, some of them don't like the, the wet sauce. They wanna leave the wings dry. So just leave back some of them. All right, and that's basically it. Just toss it around, just coat it with the sauce. And uh, while you're doing that and contemplating what are you gonna have these delicious wings with, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, the notification bell. Please remember to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Amazon, all at the Rainer's Kitchen. I will be live on Amazon starting next month, so please follow me so you can get the notification. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.